I'm going to start off by showing you the newest round of signs. Like I said, this one we're going to use tonight, Sisters Make the Best Friends. I don't have a sister. I kind of have a bunch of Reese sisters, so I'm going to pretend they're my sisters from another mother. Sound louder. Um, I can't really do that. Hey, Missy. Um, geez, I can't adjust the sound. The sound on the phone has to be turned off and the sound on the computer has to be turned off or I get a double echo. Try, um, try going out and coming back in, Susan, and see if that helps. Okay. Missy, can you hear me okay? Sue? Thanks, Missy. It was kind of inspired by your sign that I made you that you should be getting any day now. This is the custom sign that um, Missy requested to match her her um, her ribbon. So it was your your wording that kind of led to the sister sign, which we had a little bit of technical difficulties with the pixels, but we got it. And then I took your sign and changed it up a little to match some of the ribbon I have. So we went with Swiss dots and that same saying on here because yours was custom, so. And then we have, um, this is my favorite. Apple Blossoms. I don't think I've seen like a T sign yet. I That just screams, I'm sorry, getting the glare from my, my light there. I just love the vintage look of these. And then we have the next new one to the farm. This is to the farmhouse series. Lavender Farm. Boy, that's right in that. Let me see if I can move this. Um, no, I don't, Faith. I'm not sure if uh, Hardworking Mom has any on there. Oh, cool. Oh, that's awesome. You're going to have to send me a link. Thank you. Then, I don't know if you guys saw the, the wreath that Susan made on Saturday. Um, no, was it Saturday? Anyhow, she made, let me see, the magnolia sign. She asked me to make that for her because she had a ribbon that she wanted. She couldn't find any magnolia signs that she liked. Let me see if I can find it now. I just put them all here together. There we go. All right. Susan used this for her wreath. Okay. I went and did this. Susan used a tri-colored uh, check uh, ribbon. Hi, Nanny Dot. With hers, it matches this totally. You've got your burgundy here and your, your green and the cream colored. I found it at the re shop. So I just ordered some. So hopefully that'll be in shortly. Now the next one is Antique Fair Flea Market. Hi Dawn, welcome. And I have it in two sizes. I have it in the 12 by six and the nine by seven. Isn't that one awesome? I, I mean, I could see this on a red wreath full of daisies with some gray and, oh, this one is going to be awesome to do. And so we now have, like I said, um, what did it say? Three? No. Three more to the farmhouse series. The Lavender Falls Farm, the Apple Blossom and the apple blossom afternoon tea 
So there are all three new ones in the Farmhouse series, along with this antique um, fair. And then we have the mother, the mother sign, and thank you, and the sister sign. Now we're going to be working on the sister sign tonight. It was um, Missy's custom sign that kind of led to the sister sign. So, I'm going to do a pancake style wreath. I still have not received my hole punch, my metal hole punch. So, we're going to pretend when we put it on. <laughs> But I'm just going to do um, a ruffle with this. This is a pancake style. So I cut my 10 inch mesh at 30 inches. This is awkward because I'm used to my big table and I'm used to standing up. I'm not used to sitting. Welcome, Janet. If I don't catch your comments, I will look at the end. So I've got a, I think this is a 14 inch wreath base from the Dollar Tree. You know how I like my tinsel ties. So I've got my tinsel ties on there. Some of you just pop it on. I'll stop in a little bit and I'll show the new signs again. My farmhouse series is pretty popular. One of the girls ordered on Saturday, and I said, um, I noticed you ordered all farmhouse signs. I said, I'm just letting you know I have more coming out this week. And so I gave her a sneak peek, and she ordered a couple of those, too. I figured she was ordering, you know, might as well save on shipping. She's... Dawn and um, Susan are my sisters, since I don't have a sister. They're my sisters from another mother. Right? <laughs> but all my signs are listed in my Etsy shop, except the new ones I just showed you. I haven't had a chance to list them. They were hot off the presses today. How do we get to? Is the lighting better up here than it is downstairs? Like I said at the beginning, my downstairs is drying out. It had a little bit of a flood. So. This is 10 inch mesh cut at 30 inches. And you all, if you didn't see it, I did post in my wreath read page, Susan making the Magnolia sign. She also um, bought my, my lemon sign. She's gonna make a kit it with it. It's going to be awesome. Jeez, I'm not used to this table. This is horrible. Where did that come from? Got tangled. Oh, I see what I did. Hold on. How do you do that? Only on a live. You take the one from above and you twist it to the one from below. Really? Been that kind of a day, guys. At least I can see the comments better. Maybe that has something to do with the lighting. I've actually got eight on the bottom. And then I've got, oh no wait, there's 12 in this, so I've got, yeah, 8 on the bottom and, and 4 across the top. 
Isn't that sign pretty? Can you see the lace in it? Along with the hearts and the butterfly? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see what you do with your custom sign, Missy. That's going to be gorgeous. I love those flowers. I'm going to have to use those flowers in something else because they're gorgeous. That's what's nice about making your own signs. You can match your your um, mesh, your ribbon. And I do custom signs, so if anybody's interested, like I'm doing one for Susan. She wants a dentist one. Oh, thanks for the hearts. Yep. Like the dog knocks your camera off. Yeah, I do, Susan, but because we're up here and I have this low table, I, I can't stand at this table. My back would be killing me. So, everything's drying out down there. It's my own fault, but I was not happy about it. But hey. Things dry out, right? But it led towards my husband putting up a new shelf in here for me because where the camera is, I have some of my fabric stash. So everything's organized in here. So I hope to get everything organized downstairs too. I'm using this dark color on the top on the bottom layer and then I have a lighter purple for the bottom because I'm trying to pull some of these lighter colors out of the sign I don't know if you can see but there's little bubbles and inside the bubbles are little hearts and then you've got these tear shaped um, flowers you've got some lace only thing is I can't find my purple butterfly but I found the blue one so the blue will have to do oh. I was gonna say I know I had four left <sighs> no Dawn my my um, washer drains into the sink and the sink clogged I didn't clean the filter so yeah it all leaked. This floor was full of water. The tub was full. This floor was water, which dripped downstairs. But it wasn't too bad. It's just another mess I didn't want to deal with right now. So, got to deal with it. No choice. So, yeah. Everything's all over down there, and the fans are going, so needed a change. So here we are. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's what happens. So yeah. But I got my shelf put up. So that's good. This room's organized now. This is my laundry room slash sewing room. Yeah, I had the music up and was pressing some signs and and then found it so didn't even hear it <laughs> oh no
This is just um, deco mesh, 10 inch, cut at 30 inches. After I put this last piece on, for those that you have joined later, you know, I can show you the signs. Seriously thinking about changing my day from Monday to something else, because, man, there's a lot on Mondays. One more up top. Oh, no. Thanks for spreading the love, folks. I really appreciate it. I'm just really competing against a bunch in our group on Monday night, for sure. So, I don't know. Okay. I'll show the signs again, the new ones. Um, this was the one that I did for Missy. This was her request. There we go. And then this is one I just finished today. Using the same words that Missy had requested, but I did something a little different with this one. And then we have, where'd they go? This one, and I can't wait till the, the ribbon arrives so I can show you the ribbon. You see all the signs with red apples in it. I thought it'd be nice to stick a green one in there. And then we have Lavender Falls Farm. And another one, Apple Blossom Afternoon Tea. And can't you see this? Like with red and gray and daisies all over the wreath. So that comes in either 12 by 6 or the 9 by 7. I think they have a really good angle up here, though. So, yeah. Those are what we have. They haven't been added to Etsy yet, along with this one, but it will be soon. All right, now I went ahead and cut these at 10 inches. I just wanted a little pop of the different color on top here. So I'm just putting one in. Because I'm trying to pull the other purple out of the sign. I just wanted something to break up this purple. Just doing it different. And this is 10 by 10. And it's just one roll. Like I said, I just wanted a little pop of that color on top. There's a... Oh, thanks, Slavon. That's our girl. Might as well just bring all these up here. Got my ribbon. <gasps> you're so used to your where you're at. You can't get used to having things changed. It's okay. We'll get it. Can't wait to see Missy's make a wreath with her new sign. And I put a link to my Etsy shop, but I also have a shop button on here that takes you right to it. I 
know, I think I kind of like it up here. The lighting is better. I can see the computer better. Hey, Connie. Connie, I wanted to get with you on the phone to help you get your picture on your Facebook page. Plus, I did my roots, so I figure if they're going to be looking down on me, at least my roots are done. Yeah, we had a minor flood. <laughs> so, we're up in the laundry room where the flood started because it's dry. <laughs> but we're good. Yeah, this is my laundry room slash sewing room slash embroidery room. And then just out there is my um, heat press where I make my signs. All right, that's our... Okay. Now I chose this color. I love the butterflies on this one, and I think the blue and the purple go really good with the sign. This was at Sims, I think, and I think I bought extra because um, I want to be able to sell the signs with a roll of ribbon. So we've got the darker purple. Hey, Jody, And we've got the lighter purple. Aren't these colors beautiful? Got to do some uh, dovetails. I got everything cut, and that was the last thing I had to do. Besides, I know you guys love my huge scissors. So I didn't want to disappoint. Yeah, I, I colored it the other week and I cut it. And then my hairdresser came over to pick up some stuff and they said, as long as you don't laugh at me, my haircut. <laughs> oh, then he'll like this read and this sign. I love purple too, it's one of my favorites. And these, these butterfly, the butterfly ribbon just pulls out the blue that's in here. There's greens in here. There's cream. There's lace. There's bubbles with little hearts in the middle. I just thought it was awesome. I'm going to do every other one with these. And then come back and do the other ones. I choose to be different today. Let's see if I can mess it up. <laughs> but it looks so good, Sue. So I better do these separate. Who am I kidding? They look good against cheese. It's not me. Everything's this table's not big enough. <sighs> Trying to see how coordinated I can be tonight. 
by going off kilter here. You know, we talked about the Floby. I talked about it the other day, and two days later, our weatherman started talking about it. And then my boys called me to ask me if they still had ours. I'm like, they're still for sale, those Flobies. If you want to pay $300, you can buy them off of Etsy. But we went to the Flobie site, and they are... Um, they are still on, they still sell them, but they were out of stock. <laughs> Mine just gets really heavy. It's a mess. But, okay, then let's do the bottom now. Or finish off with this. And then we'll make a bow. Hey, kitty. I was thinking about you the other day. Remembering your brother. I hope mom and dad are good. Uncle Joe's good. He just lost his mom to the virus. But let the family know we're all thinking of you. Oh, okay. We can pick another time, Connie. No problem. <laughs> you know where it came from? My grandmother. I was her only granddaughter on my mother's side, and she had thick hair. It's nice, but sometimes it's a curse. But I'm glad I, I have it, so. And the one company, I'm waiting on supplies. And they told me two weeks ago it was only going to be, they told me the first time I called, oh, it'll be ready in 10 days. And now the second time I called, they said, well, we're still working on orders for March. So you're looking at 20 days. It's actually longer than 20 days. So who knows when that stuff's going to come in, but it has my beadsmith in there, so I can't punch holes in my signs. Sims has actually been the only one that is shipping on time. Everybody else is real behind. <laughs> I got to see him. He did a porch visit a couple like a week or so ago um, he's doing really good it's the other one that um, she's got gestational well she's having an issue with her pregnancy so we're all holding our breath that everything is going to go okay for the second grandson he's get little uh, Gordon's getting really big I think sometime in May I will be watching him. So, trying to be real careful. Just hope this thing is over with soon and we're back to some kind of normalcy. All right, let's go to the top row. Uh, 
Sims. Sims Pottery. They're, they're doing really good. I think they're out of Georgia. That's where it comes from. But um, some of the other ones are, are really behind. The reshop, I think, is about a week out. Um, Trendy Tree is probably about a week out. So that's not too bad. You're welcome. I actually just love these purples. to see which is the back and which is the front on this ribbon. All this ribbon came from Sims also. I have a bunch of the um, this the horizontal stripes to match a lot of the farmhouse signs. That's actually coming in from Sims. So I'll be able to sell the sign with the ribbon. I'm looking forward to that. That's why I haven't started any of those because um, I just ordered the ribbon. And I think you guys can see the wreath better, the angle here. Thank you, Connie. Because you're seeing it kind of from up above which isn't the case when I do it downstairs. So it probably is a better angle. I think the lighting's better. I go for this side. I think over there looks good. So let's go ahead and make our bow. Oh, I do have also, I thought these would be nice to add some lilies in here. I also have have some of these and I thought if I use that in there it would pull some of the color out of the sign. Hi Ty! What do you think? And I thought add a little bit of white with that. I even have um, it says Queen Anne's Lace. 
I thought that would be nice to add to. And if I wanted to, I thought some of this would look good too. This doesn't tell you what kind it is, but I thought this on here would pull out some of the blue. And there, are, there is some flowers in here. They're not lilies, but they have this color to them. So there are some floral options. All right, let's get to our bow. Thank you, Ty. It's for our new, my new sign, Sisters Make the Best Friends. I think it popped out. It's going back in. All right. I really have to watch this chair because you can flip out. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cute? <laughs> All right, we're going to start with this on the bottom. And I'm going to go for about a six inch loop with about, oh, uh, I'm going to go with about a 16 inch um, tail. And eh, maybe not. So about a 12 inch tail and my first loop is going to be like a six inch going to go like four, two, four. We're gonna go with the butterflies. Oh, I have butterflies too. I have some blue butterflies. Because I can't find my purple ones. I'm gonna make the tails about 12 inch. I'm going to make it just a hair shorter than the last. Oh, thanks, Sue. Should I just say thanks, sis? You and Levon and Dawn and Ty. <laughs> All my sisters. Sisters from another mother. I'm just liking all the variations of purple in that sign. It's really letting me get creative. Right.
think with this I'm going to do three loops because I'm going to leave one in the middle. A smaller loop. And then down. things popping right out. Don't you go there. Scissors make for a great hammer too. <laughs> Just not used to designing from chair. I feel like I can't see it. I know. We had some trouble with the pixels on that one, but we got it. Because I love that uh, background. And I'm loving the variations of purple in it. Blue's like my second favorite color. There we go. All right, let's see. I'm sorry, I gotta stand. <laughs> I cannot see if I don't. Come on now. There's not a whole lot of mesh on here, but it sure is hard finding the bottom. Before I lose this, I'm going to put that there. Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted. All right. So now let me see here. We need them. I know we've got purple. I had purple butterflies, but I cannot locate them. So I'm going to put one blue butterfly in the center of the bow. I thought that'd be a nice accent. These are from Dollar Tree. Look at that next to the purple. Oh, yeah. Let's see. All I did was poke a hole down the middle of the one loop so I could twist the wire together. Look at that. Isn't that cute? All right, now let's work on our, that's where our sign is going to go over there. So let's see what we can do with some of this. So I want to pull out some of those colors. 
from the sign. Thanks, Sue. I'm thinking like right there. Just kind of placing them right now to see where I where I really want them. And I think right there. So I got my triangle. Now I want to get a couple of these in here. see that matches the cream that's in there so these opposite each other I got and then can pull some of the other colors out with these This is just giving it another dimension. Just something to pull your eye. I think I'm going to go with that up here. And I think I'm going to add some of that to the other two. I'll add the leaf in there too. Because you got some leaves in there. There. Put this on this side. This would make a great wreath for somebody's sister on their birthday. Here, I'm going to put some of the, okay, we have some leaves on that one. See it in there. There we go. Add some leaves to this one because I cut them off. Like those lilies in there. We'll give it another punch of color. Okay. What do you think? Hey, Ann, how are you? So I've pulled out the blue, I've pulled out some of this color here in these flowers with the, with the lily. And then we've got the different variations of purple and we've pulled out the blue. What are your thoughts? Aw, oh, thank you. I don't know, I may sprinkle a little bit of this around too. Why not? Maybe over here. 
reverse them. I don't know what these are called, but I really like them. It's not a lilac. I know that much. Put a couple of those there. And we don't want to leave this one all by itself. So let's stick that in somewhere too. But I think I'm going to get another lily from downstairs and then put another lily here. So in my triangle I have the lilies. See what that looks like there. Mm, not sure. Oops. Where'd that guy come from? Yeah. We'll get one more lily and we'll put it here. And then we've got our triangle and we've added some other. Aw, oh, thanks. Did you want me to... Who, who came on late? Did you want to see the signs again? The new farmhouse collection. All right. Apple Blossom Afternoon Tea. That's the newest in the farmhouse. And I've got this ribbon on order, so I'll be able to sell the signs with the ribbon. And we've got Lavender Falls Farm. And then, I don't know if you saw Susan's wreath the other day, the one she made with my marigold sign. She actually had this, this ribbon in check where it has the burgundy, the green, and the cream. I was able to find that at um, Reshop. So I added some I added some extra to the order because that is going to go perfect with that sign. Mothers are your first best friend. This was Missy's custom sign that she ordered, so I took the the saying out of there. And there's a lot of ribbons that match this. Yes, I have. I actually have lavender florals downstairs, and they smell like lavender. And then we've got the Antique Fair Flea Market sign in two sizes. You have the 12 by 6 or the 9 by 7. Oops, sorry, getting too high there. <laughs> and then these were the others I showed last week, the Magnolia Meadows. Murray Farms Farmer's Market, the Yellow, yellow Petal Flower Farm, and then we've got Blueberry Farm, and then we have the Lemon sign, and this is the one that um, Susan ordered. She's going to be doing a kit with that. That's going to look awesome. And then, Born to be Free. I'm working on the Noom as we speak. So, because I make all my own um, fabric for my Nooms. Susan was a huge help with this. Um, she actually created my, the bee stripes that I print on my my fabric. Then I have the wings. And then we have the uh, leopard print that goes around his hat. And I was able to print a flag, but it's not the right size, so I have to redo that. But there's his stripes that Sue helped me with. So we will be making a noom to match this sign and I have a, a truck sign coming out for 4th of July Memorial Day 
whatever. And so that will be coming out soon also. Does anybody have any questions? Thank you. I know. I I can't wait to do this one. I mean, you've got red in the sign. You've got gray in the sign. You've got the daisies in the sign. So I'm thinking a red background maybe with the gray on top. I don't, I, or maybe the gray on the bottom. I really have to play with this one. It, there's even some like darker red in there. Um, there's a lot you could do with this. I know you would. You've been an awesome help. Am I still waiting on the dots? <laughs> I don't know. And Anne, your live was awesome the other night too. I didn't know you were on, so I, I did a replay. I love that wreath, the bee wreath. Awesome sauce. Yeah, this is going to be a special one. You could even do, oh, you know what? A white base with red and gray in there. I don't, I don't know. I got to, I really... I know the apple one was really cute too. Everybody uses the green, the red apples, and I, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a vintage Victorian, um, you know, farmhouse kind of gal. Oh, uh, okay. I'll have to. <laughs> it's probably in there. <laughs> so yeah, and I've got blueberries on order. Um, so they'll be coming in soon so I can do the blueberry one but this I can't wait to get that ribbon that's going to be awesome I like the blossoms like that really is is I mean this one this this one was inspired by Susan she's the one that requested something magnolia because all you have out there is welcome with magnolias, two magnolias on the sign. It just, it needed something. And I thought, well, I kind of like this. I wonder if she'll like it. And, and she loved it. I know <laughs> you did. <laughs> Thank you. And I, I, strawberries are hard to find. There's another berry I found that looks similar. So I'm going to do that one next if everything comes in on time but this lemon one i have lemons downstairs i'm just waiting on the ribbon so and i ordered some different mesh too um, that i saw that sims had so i think we're we're set we just need a couple of patriotic ones and what sold right away the magnolia one, is that the one you're talking about? See, because of the sign. The sign is not like none out there. There there isn't anything like that magnolia sign. I bet you the lemon one will do the same thing. There is nothing out there. And this is gingham um I, I really love those stripes, as you can tell. <laughs> they're in almost every uh, um, one I did because they're so versatile, you know. Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate that. Yeah, that, that Magnolia sign. I've had so many orders for that one. And what's nice, I, I tell everybody, look, when you make your your um, wreath, send it to me. I want to post it on my site. I want people to see the different ways they can make it. You know, why I took these off. I can't read without them. 
it is Karen, everybody's having that kind of trouble. Um, go back out and come back in. Because that's happened to someone else too. Because I can't adjust the sound. It's strictly through the phone. The way, you know, the internet. If I unplugged it and up the sound, all you'd get is feedback. It'd be horrible. Yes, you did. And I did post it. So. So. All right, guys. I think we're good. I appreciate you coming by. Um, this is going to make somebody a beautiful birthday gift. This wreath. I just want to add one more lily right here. To pull that color out. You know, I, w I wish they'd make some kind of lace ribbon, too. You know, I think that would be pretty in there, too. I had some of this, too, but I don't know. I think that takes away from... Love you too. Love you, Vaughn. All right, guys, you have a great evening, and thanks for spending time with me and spreading the love. My Etsy shop, it's the Shop Now button, or I put a link in there. So um, check it out. Hopefully by the, by the next day or two. We're still drying out. I'll get those signs listed. If you don't see it, contact me. I'll get it out to you right away. I love you too. All right, big hugs. Good night.